So first things first is your website needs to have a clean and simple design. Um, obviously, if you go to a website that looks like it was built in the early 2000s, you're probably going to uh, exit that website, not stay on it for too long. So we want to make sure your design is really clean, simple, modern, and luckily with brilliant directories, you get that right out of the box. Secondly, you want to have clear messaging and CTAs, which is uh, what we mentioned earlier. You're also going to want to have easy member packages, not too many offerings. Uh, fourth thing is you also want to have a free membership option. This may seem counterintuitive uh, profit-wise. However, these members can eventually turn in to uh, paid members. Yeah, and those free members are gonna are free um, advocates of your site. They're gonna share their profile, they're creating content for you. We'll go into more of the benefits of free memberships a little later. Uh, number five is you wanna limit your categories. So most membership or directory websites, they allow their members to pick and choose the business categories or, or some categories that they're a part of. And while it might seem um, appealing to upload as many categories as possible, we're gonna explain why it's actually beneficial to limit your categories that are available on your website. Also, we're gonna talk about getting a toll-free 800 number and those benefits. And as David mentioned before, we're gonna show you how you can target industry icons to help promote your site for you. So they've already have the, uh, the followers and we're gonna let them do the heavy lifting and you're gonna create a nice synergetic relationship with them. And number eight, for the 25% of people who are on this webinar who don't have their directory or membership website online yet, the other 75% of people in this webinar will tell you the first things first, you need to start your site. So going into our first key, the clean and simple design. Uh, really the keys here are using complementary colors. You don't wanna have colors that stand out too much, that are too vibrant or that clash with each other, that, that take the attention away from, from your content. That's ultimately the most important part of your website. Uh, you also wanna have high quality graphics and photos. You don't wanna be using really pixelated images, uh, images that, are, that uh, by default are small and then you enlarge them to make them fit the size you want. You wanna steer clear of all of that. We need really high quality graphics and photos to really grasp uh, the attention of, of our visitors and, and engage them. And also, we want to make it easy for visitors to find exactly what it is they're looking for. We don't want to make our visitors dig through complicated um, menus uh, or go from page to page in order to find the information uh, that they're looking for. And so this is done with simple website navigation and limited link options. That's right. Um, you know, since 2009, we've had lots of users utilize brilliant directories. And the ones that are most successful, at least in the beginning, are the ones who start with a simple website design. And that means limiting um, where people can click and what you want people to do. And I think, David, we have an example of um, color designs. All right, so talking about good color designs, and this is just an example. We'll take you into the Brilliant Directories admin area. Um, as an example, we have some pre-made color sets that you can choose from. Now you can further customize these and these are just inspiration. You can apply them to your site um, or you can Google, let's say you know the type of color you wanna use for your site. You could Google like blue color themes and you'll find tons of, of theme color combination options that you can apply to your website. And when you wanna use custom colors on your site, uh, you can just come to the design settings in your Brilliant Directories admin and you can pick and choose the different colors that you wanna use for things using the color pickers. All right, let's get back to the webinar here. Let's just fast forward here. All right, so clean and simple design. Also, iStock Photo is a great place to get good quality images. And at the end of this webinar, we actually have a blog article we wrote about all about the images you use on your homepage and throughout the site. And that'll be included in the takeaways of this presentation. So here we have uh, an example homepage. This is taken from our classified ads demo. So let's go through some of the elements on this web page. Um, the first thing that you'll probably notice is the logo, the logo and the website name. Now, while this website doesn't have 100% customized proprietary logo, uh, it just says Dallas Classifieds. Dallas Classifieds is fine because it's short to the point. It lets you know exactly what it is this website provides.
classified ads in the Dallas, Texas area. Also, among everything that's on this website, in the end, there's only two things we're asking visitors to do, either search or sign up. And when you're starting out, those really are the only things that you want people to do is search and sign up and also get them excited. We have clear messaging of what the website is for and what you can do. And we're also listing some of the recent classified ads that have been published to the website, which further explain what the website does using visual images like this. So there isn't a lot of going on on this page, but you can see that it's simple, it's nicely laid out, and there's no confusing terminology. Sometimes being too clever can actually work against you. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, as you can see with this demo here, we have featured classified ads shown on the homepage, and oftentimes this can appear cluttered, um, but a good thing to enable in your admin options is to show only show featured items that have images. Keeping those images on there uh, makes it a little bit more interesting, uh, and it also shows new visitors to your website exactly what it is your website offers without them having to actually do a search themselves. Exactly. And as you can see in the top right corner, it says post ad 100% free. It says 100% free there. That's motivational text. It's clear messaging. So it's actually motivating people to want to use the website. You're not scaring them away. So going into the benefits of having a great website design, the attractiveness and the appeal that it will bring will help build trustworthiness between you and your visitors. Visitors will also be able to stay on your website for longer uh, because the website itself will look visually appealing and this will help build loyalty. Your brand will also seem more established by having a modern, up-to-date design. This will help build credibility and all this put together will help get you more signups, making you more profitable. That's right, and a lot of this seems very simple, but I've seen a lot of people get in their own way of having a nice, simply de designed website and kind of fighting the, the process. I love uh, the TV show, The Prophet, um, and he talks about trusting in the process. And um, these, these strategies are the process you should follow um, for when you're starting out your membership website. And the drawbacks of a bad design, well, if it doesn't look good and if, it, if the design looks um, like it's dated, like the early 2000s, then people probably won't trust it. Um, and also people won't stay and click around on your website. Loyalty is associated with people staying on your website longer because they trust your website and they want more information. And the loyalty aspect comes from the fact that they are liking the information that they're finding on your website and they're more likely to come back or recommend your website to a friend. And at the end of the day, it's important to keep this in mind because it's the loyalty that's being built that will make these users more comfortable in giving you their sensitive information, whether it be their email address um, or their credit card information when they're purchasing a membership package. All this stuff relies on loyalty. Your brand will also not seem very established, not credible. If your website design is not up to date, it shows, it may show that you may not care about your website. And ultimately these things will lead in fewer signups, leaving you less profitable. 